What is up guys, welcome to another video and you can probably guess by the title. This is like a little thank you video for making the 2018 season mod the most downloaded mod on F1 2017 period. Now, it's been up for a little, little bit over a week now and we've managed to surpass the original um, F1 2017 uh, most downloaded mod. Now that was sat at around about 2,000... <coughs> 700. It literally just ticked over 2,700 last night, and uh, we managed to surpass that. We're currently on 2,800. Now that is insane to think that in a little over a week we have absolutely blitzed past um, my career helmet template, which was sat at about 2.5, and it's just continuing to boom at this rate. We'll surpass 3,000 easily within the next few days. So that's been fantastic. We've got four stars which isn't too bad and um, the last few updates haven't gone as planned um happen to revert back to an older version and stuff like that but i'll get into um what's coming in the next update in a little bit the first thing i want to show you is the start of this race now this is on the build that i'm working on now which will be um, 2.0 because of how everything's been redone uh, re-imported and re uh, fizzled out the ai are absolutely crazy you can see we had um hartley going around the outside and we're actually going four wide down into turn one with Verstappen, Kimi, Ricardo, and uh, Gasly. So obviously going four wide through this corner. Two cars will end up losing out. And in this case, it was Gasly and uh, Max Verstappen. But it does continue all the way through. They actually end up battling all the way through into the first uh, real overtaking opportunity apart from turn one. And it's just Verstappen's it's so aggressive. Um, the AI are like this, and they're prone to making a lot of mistakes, which is it's quite good because obviously you don't really get that in the... Um, the vanilla version of the game they don't get really aggressive per se and then making mistakes you don't see them lock up very often i think you see that at some point in this video but so yeah like being able to take the number one most downloaded spot is just absolutely insane to me it's absolutely crazy and also you've got quite a few people to thank because obviously i could do this mod on my own and stuff like that so the first person i've got a list of 10 people here who have obviously helped out um massively on this so the first person is kind he brought me on board to the 2005 mod um i didn't have as much of an impact as i wanted on that but i did try my best at the time that obviously went really well and um throughout the entire uh period while i've been making this uh 2018 season mod obviously he's been my go-to guy to like if i needed any information or solutions to any issues i was having regarding the freezing the crashing stuff like that he'd always be the first person i'd go to um we have got a pretty good relationship in terms of how to get things done and the quality of work he is very difficult to um not necessarily get an approval of but um if you do good work he will tell you and if not then obviously he will tell you that as well which is one of the best things about him like if you if it's not up to par he will let you know and i'm um, letting you know how to fix which obviously only makes work better stuff like that second person we have is jb now this guy he's fantastic he's um had a real hand in all of the uh, car menu screens like the 3d car models stuff like that um he's managed to obviously get them out of the game into uh key shot and then obviously get the photos done and then the renders of what you see when you select your car so fantastic job to him in the new update you can see we're driving his hat at the moment which is an updated version of that we've got an updated paint for the mclaren and also the new force india and possibly the sauber as well um the sauber depends on if i can fix the um the part um, by the cockpit. If I can fix that, then I'll use that. If not, then I'll keep uh, with Kynes, um Alfa Romeo Sauber. Third person is Dimmy. Now Dimmy is he is amazing. Like obviously, apart from being uh, Vettel's number one fan, his helmet work is second to none. Honestly, like he's more or less done the entire grid, bar I think four helmets at this point of recording. So hats off to him. Most of the helmets are um, including. Um, Apart from Magnussen's, uh, Perez that hasn't been done yet, Ocon and Sorokin, all the other helmets are his. So he's done a fantastic job with them. You can't really compare his work. He's done work for me in the past. We didn't have the best relationship um, not too long ago, but obviously we got past that um, before the 2005 mod. And his, his helmet making skills are phenomenal. Next person is Nick, or All Flatches, if you subscribe to him on YouTube. Nick has been with me since... 2000 and I want to say 16 it's, it's quite a long time and um, back when I made that season mod um, I helped I was using the cars on there 
And then even with the 2017 mod, Nick was using that in his McLaren. So Nick's just been so helpful. He's lent his voice multiple times to my videos. And I want to try and see if I can get him back in for the 2018 career mode. He's a fantastic YouTuber. Me and him have always been super, super close on subscribers. At this point, I think he's like 15, 15 to 20 subscribers ahead of me. So I'm look, looking to try and get that back and um, get past Nick again. But fantastic guy. Um, lovely chap. Um, obviously, go check him out in the description. And so give, him, give him a subscribe. He is definitely a very, very funny guy. And he's obviously good at what he does. Next person is Race King. Now, Race King, he's a very young modder. But he has got such so much heart. Um, on the thing it says moral support guy. He actually said that in the Discord uh, yesterday. When I said about making this video. So I figured I'd chuck that in. Obviously he's helped with. I um, was having issues with the track files. He was able to correct them for me. And I'm currently using his science helmet as well. So awesome kid. Super super helpful. And obviously like it says moral support guy. That he is for sure. Now we've got Stone. Stone is... Similar to Dim in a sense, he has his own lane and he sticks to it and he is very good at what he does. The performance is obviously from Stone. Stone has obviously crunched all the numbers, come up with the performance files and they work and they just they work incredibly well. So Stone is a go-to guy obviously with the trainers as well. Stone is just, he's also another person who's very good at exactly what he does. Another person who's good at what they does is Safzo. Now he is responsible for the photos for the most part like all the car menu screen photos are from him he he just has one of the knacks he did the um 2005 uh season mod photos as well and i got in contact with him was like listen buddy you're good at what you do can you get me some photos of these cars to chuck in the menu screens and that he did he has been so helpful um with all the stuff i need to his photos absolutely banging absolutely um, after we got Connection, now Connection is, he joined rather late into the process of making this mod. He has, he's, I'm using his helmet now, we are using the Kevin Magnuson helmet. He is also responsible for the Sergei Sorokin helmet, so building up the rest of the grid's helmets um, is what he's done. He's very talented at what he does, the helmets. The two drivers I'm using, they're absolutely quality. The Magnuson helmet is fantastic. You won't see it in career mode because Magnuson is out the door, but... You will see the Sorokin helmet nonetheless. Kondasek, on the other hand, he is another guy who just came in out of nowhere. Literally, um, just start popping up these mods of all the UI interface and stuff like the cars. For the most part, he came in and it was really, really useful to get um, some help with the UI. So, hats off to him. He has obviously done... He's added quite a bit to this mod as well. And then the last guy is Din. I'm not going to pronounce the rest of his name because I'm not going to butcher it. So, at this point rather recently within the last two patches he's been the guy that I have given the build to test um, as he was super supportive on the support thread and stuff like that so he's currently testing the build um, before the one I'm using now for this video um, it's basically just everything we've done uh, just without any uh, hospitality or tracks now so far the build I'm working on is actually doing pretty good so we'll get into that so the build I'm working on at the moment um, it's basically everything's been redone I found like the main issues for what I was having issues with and in all honesty it looks like it's worked um, I haven't had any crashes the only issue I had was a freeze and I thought oh my no here we go again it's it's all gone to pot but I used to have freezes during my career mode um, just on 2016 with just like a helmet update so it does happen from time to time but I've had no issues in terms of crashing on the builds that I'm working and that have been done properly. Hopefully this will come out today. If not, then the update will come out tomorrow and it will be up to exactly to where it was last time. Hopefully with zero crashes, if not very minimal ones. I haven't had an issue yet. He's testing the build to make sure it works. Um, but yeah, in terms of the new update, what's new? So apart from the no crashing issue, we'll have a few new cars imported in. So I have an updated McLaren, the new Force India, new... Sauber potentially a new Sauber and um, that's a little bit iffy obviously a new Haas Haas is phenomenal um, and maybe a few hats here and there but apart from that we're just going to try and catch up to where he was but hopefully that's been it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed um, and just thank you to all you guys who have downloaded it some of you may not have been as patient as I would have liked with it and um, with the issues that we do have but we are getting there slowly the amount of work that obviously has gone into this the game's not going to like it exactly so we just have to iron out the issues. But that's been it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you then.
拜拜。